All right, all right, cool. Hello, everyone. My webcam's been broken, <laughs> and uh, well, it hasn't been broken. It's just the uh, software wasn't working for it, so I got it fixed. Downloaded the uh, the updated version, and uh, good to go. So I can make some webcam videos now. My other camera, I had a problem with the battery pack, but uh, it turns out I thought it was no good. I had to get a new one, but it just wasn't uh, clipped in all the way. So thank God for that. That's good to go. So plenty of videos coming your way. Um, today I had a little, uh, treat. I haven't done a chocolate review in a long time, and I got these in the mail yesterday. These are Chocolola, Chococola. <laughs> it always seems so stupid. I'm just that American who can't pronounce anything, but yes, Chococola. Uh, these are chocolates with, uh, energy in them, and these are from Helsinki, Finland which I can honestly admit, I thought Helsinki was a made-up place because <laughs> I heard it in movies and stuff. I didn't know it was a real place. Shame on me for being ignorant of the world. But uh, yes, um, I got these. Very excited to, uh, to try these. This is the dark chocolate version. This is the milk chocolate version. And uh, I looked these up, and it's it's really interesting. First of all, the person who sent it didn't want me to say their YouTube name, but you know who you are. Thank you very much. I appreciate it a great deal. It's always nice to try chocolate from around the world. As I said, the more chocolate that people have sent me for me to try from different countries, the more I um, feel disappointed with American chocolate. And a lot of people who are outside of America don't even consider it chocolate. They think it's garbage. I could still eat a Hershey's bar and go, ooh, that was good. But like trying all these different types from all around the world, it's like nothing compared to some of the other stuff. But um, anyway, yes, the big deal with these is that these have uh, some energy in them. And the cola part of it is, let me read the back here. The unique recipe with natural caffeine from cocoa, coffee, and the cola nut extract provides you with sustained energy for more power and concentration, a delicious specialty for those who want to accomplish more. So you have the natural caffeine that's in cocoa, okay, which is chocolate's made from. Then you also have caffeine from coffee, and you also have the caffeine from cola, okay, like Coca-Cola. So a really interesting combo. I'm not sure if it's going to taste like all that or if it's just going to taste like chocolate. We will find out. But I want to tell you the um, the percentages here. I'm trying to f Oh, there's an English version here too. Okay, so 58% cocoa in this. 1.6% um, cola nut powder. And 2.6% coffee. So interesting. We will try these. Um, first, the dark chocolate. It's a tin, obviously a metal tin. I, I did look these up, and I found the ads to be a little interesting. Here's a, here's a couple different ads for these. So yeah, I don't know what that has to do with chocolate, but of course it's an attention grabber. You go, hmm, what is that? You go, oh, chocolate, that's good. Um, also very interesting is apparently these, these I believe they back to the, uh, the 30s, 1930s at least. I saw advertisements from, from that point on and maybe even earlier. Um, but apparently in World War II, the Nazis had made their own version of this. They liked it so much. And here's a picture of that. So yeah, Coca uh, Cola, <laughs> keeping the Nazi Germany strong, I guess, or hyper. Regardless, um, we will see. It's not synonymous with Nazis or anything like that. So don't think it's a racist chocolate. It's just at some point it kind of was, uh, or that you know, Nazi Germany made everything racist. Uh, doesn't mean the chocolate is racist. Regardless, um, let's try this. <laughs> so as I say that, the first word here is die, which obviously is doesn't mean die. Anyway, all right, so they conveniently give you a little dimple here, so you can push on that and open it up, which is very nice. Ooh, here, a little paper. And this reminds me, it's exactly like the um, Tabasco uh, flavored chocolate in that you, it's like a pie shape, okay, and you get these little pie pieces, and there's two layers of them, okay, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so you get 16 pieces per tin. And um, same thing with this one. So let's try the uh, dark chocolate first. I open these up to smell them. Now it just smells like dark chocolate. It doesn't I don't smell any of the um, cola in it or coffee. But uh, here we go. Coca Cola. So first I'm gonna kind of suck on it a little bit, let them melt my mouth a little bit to get the flavors come out, and then I'll just kind of chew the rest as it gets soft.
Hmm. Well, the dark chocolate's really good, although I don't I don't taste cola or coffee. It's just a straight dark chocolate. In fact, this tastes very very similar to straight up Hershey's dark chocolate. So nothing really special about that. It's good. It's not bad, but yeah, dark chocolate. It's a very, very cool presentation. I love the tin and everything. It's really cool. So there it is. It's just regular dark chocolate, nothing special. Let's try the uh, milk chocolate one. I'd read this, but I'm just going to butcher it, and everyone in the world will laugh at me for saying it wrong. <laughs> um, okay, the milk chocolate one. Same thing. Oh, this is only 30% cocoa as opposed to 58. So obviously making a milk chocolate, there's more milk fats in this. And, or cocoa fats rather. There we go. Convenient little dimple. And same thing, just blue. Same pie shapes. I'll show you that here. And obviously like any other chocolate, the dark chocolate is... Um, darker in color so here's the pieces compared to each other you can tell the difference in the milk chocolate and dark chocolate well, let's give this a go this one this one smells a lot different it smells exactly like a um a chocolate covered espresso bean if you ever had those before which i love i think chocolate and coffee just meld together beautifully they're, they're just two flavors that just go together in fact, um, every now and then if I have a cup of coffee and a couple Hershey Kisses with it, it, it's just a really nice combo to get that melted chocolate and the hot coffee. Absolutely delicious, but that's what it smells like. I definitely pick up the coffee in the milk chocolate version, but not any like cola. It doesn't smell like chocolate, Coca-Cola, and uh, coffee. It's just coffee and chocolate. So bottoms up. Mmm. Wow. Wow, that's really, really good. Um, melting like right away. Extremely creamy. Really rich. Um, similar to like a Cadbury milk chocolate, but there's a huge punch of coffee in this. Oh, wow. Okay. That's amazing. Wow, that's that's scary good. Like I have to seriously put this tin away because I will sit and eat all these. Um, all right, you get. Actually, you know what? I'm changing my opinion here. It tastes very much like uh, Ritter Sport, which is uh, the German chocolate which I've had before, and. Really bold, delicious, just extremely creamy chocolate, uh, milk chocolate. Um, but you do have a, a huge punch of coffee. And like espresso too, a strong, bold coffee. Not something light, really, really in your face. Absolutely delicious. Um, that This is phenomenal. If you ever have a chance to pick this up and you like chocolate, and of course, maybe you like coffee. If you don't like coffee flavor... You won't like this because it does have a predominant coffee uh, punch to it. This, dark chocolate. This to me is the same as any old Hershey bar, dark chocolate, just whatever, standard dark chocolate. This is the stuff. Amazing, amazing uh, chocolate. So um, probably definitely on my top like five best chocolates in the world I've ever had. I mean, I haven't had all the chocolate in the world, but phenomenal. If you ever have a chance to pick this up, check it out. There are websites online. You can easily find this. Um, to order it and the person who got this for me I'm not sure the website but the um, uh, what's it called the receipt or whatever that was in there um, a packing list it showed that the payment was through PayPal so I guess there's our websites out there that you can buy this with PayPal uh, of course it will be shipped from different countries I don't believe there's a source in the US for this but that's a good thing because I'd be buying it by the case it's it's phenomenal I would pick this every single day of the week over anything that we have here in America. Really, really delicious. So definitely check this out. Don't even bother with this. It's just generic dark chocolate to me.
So that's it. That's Shoka Cola. And uh, yeah. Wow. It's really, really good. Thank you very much to the person who uh, sent it. I really appreciate it. Thank you uh, to my webcam for working today. I really appreciate that too, so I can make some videos. I have a bunch. Of, well, I'm going to do an account update and talk about some stuff. But for this, just a quick chocolate review. A plus. 100%. You have to try it. If you like chocolate and you like coffee, it's a, it's a must try. So find it somewhere and gobble it up and smile. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.